Hi, so welcome to the fifth episode of this AirPods Pro website building. And today we'll be covering from this text paragraph to this scroll animation with text fading away and to another text paragraph and this box design. And let's just get started. So let's draw a container. And I have the text pre-made already. This text is placed inside a width of 980 container. And then um, it will be in the center of this, our large container. And uh, 980 is like the minimum width of this text box. So no matter how small it goes, there is still keeping this width. And the size for the subheader is 32 by 36. And for the header is 120 by 110. For this paragraph, it's 32 by 36 as well. And next we will create another container. Don't forget to add the upper constraint to the previous container. So I'm going to import the image sequence. 100 VW, 100 VH. Okay. And I put it into the container. And there are three paragraphs here. I'm going to bring them in as well. So for this, uh, I put those text inside a uh, 980 box and it's aligning left to the box. And this box will be at the center of the container. So this always stays in the correct position just like this previous text group does. And place the first text 60. VH to the page, and then place the second 20 VH to the previous, and lastly the third, I'll constrain to the second with 26 VH, and then we're gonna set these two as zero first, like it's so it's not, you cannot see it. I'm gonna start this one with zero as well, and now let's go to the animation. Select S2 container, add a driver. First, let's set up the dancer sequence and then go into 99. Set the dancer sequence as a line top and then go into 100. Let's add another keyframe, but we set it as fixed relative to the viewport. And then now it follows and going to 105. Let's add another keyframe. It's set it to fixed viewport as well. And then going to 220. We drag this frame to last frame. And then going to 240. Add a keyframe and then set the opacity as zero. And next for the scroll text, let's start at 90. Add a keyframe, go to 100, go to 105, add a keyframe, set it as 100, go to 120, add a keyframe, then go to 140, set it as 0. Let's go text 2. Let's start at 125, add a keyframe, going to 140. Set the opacity to 100. At 160, add a keyframe. Then going to 185, set it as 0. And for scroll text 3, let's start at 175 and go to 190. Set it as 100. Going to 200, add another keyframe and then set it as zero. 
at, at 220. And now let's see. So there is having this text coming up and then fading away effect because this background is moving but the text is not moving so it creates the effect that the text is moving upwards. And let's remember to reset the upper constraint of the stencil sequence to the top of the S12 container and it should be 140 VH. And let's move on to the next section. So here I have the text made already. It's also the same, put it in the 980 box and then left align. The subheader is 32 by 36. The header is 120 by 110. And then the subheader is 32 by 36. And the spacing is that the subheader is having a 24 pixel gap with the bottom header. And then this is having a 48 pixel gap with the bottom. And because there is having like a fading effect of this background, like interacting with this one, I'm actually gonna put this paragraph inside of the S12 container. So I'm gonna link this paragraph to the third paragraph and the distance would be 50 VH. So it should look something like this. When this background starts to fade away, this text paragraph comes into view. And next is this. So there's two text paragraph designs, an image, and another paragraph with some color highlights. Here I'm going to create our 13th container, 100 VW, and this time we'll be doing 100, and this time we'll be doing 80 VH. and then set strokes, 0 0.5 inside, only keeping the top and the bottom. We don't need the sides. We're going to link the top of this S13 to the bottom of S12, and the distance would be 190 VH. And then we need to create two boxes, 50 VW, by ATVH, copy one, one is to align to left, align to top, another align to right, align to top, close the colors. And then here I have two paragraphs. The color for this green is 00FF41. And the color for the gray is F5, F5, F7. And the size is 21 by 26. 120 by 40 for this number. 80 by 40. And 21 by 26. So I'm going to connect this to this. With the distance of 12 VH. Then center them and group them together. I'm going to do another vertical center. Next, I'm going to bring in this paragraph and I'm going to set it as 9VH into the top by 11VH. The width would be 600 by 20 pixel. Hug. So left, bottom, one, one. Okay and also adding a left line. Only keeping the left one. Let's go to preview. Uh, but before that, it's always a good habit to check that if your containers are centered. Centered, yeah. And yeah, that's all for today's episode. See you next time.